guys welcome back okay so today I kind of want to do something that's gonna be a little bit different than my usual videos you know makeup tutorial or a haul or a swatch party or whatever um, because you know sometimes I come in my beauty space and I just want to enjoy makeup I just want to look at makeup touch makeup play with makeup you know think about why I bought something or how I want to use something or maybe how I want to combine some products so a lot of times you know you want to just kind of sit down and just chat with the girls talk about makeup look at it touch it because I love makeup not only on my face but I like just looking at it <laughs> and playing with it you know so I really wanted to just kind of start doing some videos occasionally, not all the time. You guys let me know how you feel about it, but occasionally where I just kind of sit down, maybe talk about some of my latest purchases or makeup that I already have in my collection, just kind of maybe do some swatches, talk about my thoughts, or if it is new items, we can swatch them, just kind of look at them, see maybe if I think it's going to work for me or if I regret buying it already before using it. But anyways, just a really impromptu, casual makeup chat. That's really what I want to do. And so I did pick up a few items that I got in the mail recently. A few from some black owned uh, makeup brands. I thought maybe you guys might want to see some different items from some different brands maybe some swatches I also bought some stuff from some not black owned brands you know I just be shopping um but yeah so that's basically what this video is me just kind of sitting here talking about makeup looking at stuff like you guys are right here with me <laughs> so hopefully this video will go smoothly it's my first time doing this type of video but I just want to look at some stuff and talk about it so one of my recent purchases is from Iman. Let me put my glasses on, okay? But yeah, I saw Iman, or what's it my girl DJ? Somebody sent it to me, maybe. I don't know. DJ might have sent it to me in the chat. But I saw that Iman was having a sale on her powders. And so I wanted to go ahead pick up some of her products, try them out, because it was like two powders for $20 and stuff like that. So went ahead and grabbed some of their powders. Of course, I also grabbed foundation, concealer, lipstick. But the thing is, their shipping is kind of weird. At least for me, it was weird. Because first thing I got was the foundation, which is right here. It looks like this in a little pack. So I got this foundation separately all by itself. So of course I'm like, well, where's the rest of my order? So I contact them and it was shipped through Amazon. This is what it looks like. And I have the shade Earth One, but it was shipped through Amazon, which was um, surprising to me. And so I contacted them. I'm like, okay, well, I got my foundation but where's my powders and my concealer my lipstick and all that stuff and they're like okay well it's on its way it's coming separately so I'm like okay whatever but I just thought that was kind of weird that they're sending everything separately because I got my powders and my lipstick in order now I'm still waiting on my concealer so it's just weird this is the powder that I got and it looks promising <laughs> it does it looks really promising now I got this in the shade earth dark um I believe this might have been the darkest shade I wanted to make sure that it will work for me so I got the darkest shade and it it looks promising it really does so yeah this is from Iman if you guys are curious it does come with a little um you know the little puff thing but I don't use those so I'll go ahead and show you. I also got this Luxury Translucent Powder. And the way that they have their packaging is because they put it in there open, which I don't know that I really care uh, too much for that because it's like the powder is open in the box. So when you pull it out, it comes out like this. You know, like it's already open. So I don't know how I feel about that. 
but this one here is a luxury translucent powder and I got the shade clay medium so this powder I will be using just under my eyes for my highlighted area and I think that it looks it looks pretty good it looks around the shade that I typically use under my eyes the packaging is pretty look at that very very pretty I don't know if they're still having a sale if you're interested but yeah it was like two for 20 which is not bad to try out you know some different products this one is the sheer finish bronzing powder and same thing it comes open which I'm realizing I don't like <laughs> but this is yeah bronzing powder of course I'm going to use this as kind of like a blush slash highlight and let me go ahead and swatch this Ooh, it was kind of powdery it's not as smooth and silky as I thought it would be <laughs> as I thought it would be okay so I'm swatching all three of them separately I don't know y'all let me see okay okay well the swatches don't look too bad yeah they don't look too bad at all not too bad let me see yeah they don't look too bad but it is a little powdery so I got those three and like I said I also picked this powder in the shade earth one um let me just go ahead and and it has a pump on there so I'm gonna go ahead and just pump a little bit okay okay so that looks promising as well actually let me blend that out yeah that actually looks promising for my skin tone yeah that's not bad that's not bad at all I can work with that and let's see okay so yeah that looks very very promising for me um so yeah this is a luxury concealing foundation and the finish it looks a little bit luminous so far I'm gonna leave it on my hand for a minute just to see how it dries and I also picked up one of her matte lipsticks and this is what the packaging looks like and the label here this is in the shade fate yeah it looks like it got a little bit dinged up on the tip but the color actually looks really pretty let me swatch this since I have foundation on my hand that's pretty I like that color it's kind of like that like blush rose shade oh that's pretty I like it a lot love it love it love it okay so that is the shade fate if you like that fate now another black owned brand that I ordered some stuff from is the lip bar I actually have been wanting to order some products from the lip bar for a long time because I saw that they had these absolutely gorgeous bronzing and blush duos and so I decided to pick a couple up and I grabbed some lip glosses while I was at it <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you these I'll show you the bronzers first they're really really cool they come in this packaging like this and I believe I heard someone say that the lip bar is sold at Target um, I've never really paid that much attention to notice whether they're there or not but I think they are and it's really really cool um, but this one here is one of the it says fresh glow stacked two layer compact bronzer and blush this one what color is this double date <laughs> this one is called double date so that's what it looks like on the back and it shows you the colors that are in there and this is what the front looks like very cute unique packaging so it does have a little sheet and this is what the bronzer looks like for double date so nice deep rich color I definitely think that that will work for me for sure and then this blush oh <laughs> oh child this blush look at this blush you guys oh this is so pretty so so pretty now, okay, so that's what the foundation is drying down, that Iman foundation. 
that's what it's looking like honey it looks very promising i'm excited about that but i'm gonna wipe that foundation off so i can swatch this bronzer and blush okay so i'm gonna swatch the bronzer Ooh, feels good and the blush Ooh, the blush is silky so that's what they look like yes look at that pigment Okay, yeah, very, very happy with that purchase. <laughs> you guys, I used to didn't really go for like shimmery blushes or like shiny type blushes. That's pretty, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> but for some reason now, I don't really shy away from them like I used to. They're so pretty. And then this other one here that I have, which is darker, I believe, is called Staycation. I think this is the darker one yeah this one definitely looks darker so this one is staycation and my lighting is kind of bright but you can see how deep it goes let me hold up this other one okay so this one is double date and this one is staycation so I can see you know I can see a difference not like a huge jump but yeah I can definitely see a difference so let me go ahead and swatch staycation but let me show you this blush first so this is the blush that comes with staycation so that's what those two look like oh that is nice very very nice oh so nice I want to swatch the other one next to it just to see the difference so there you can see the difference those bronzers look actually quite close to me. This one is a little darker, but doesn't look like by too, too much. But they're both very pretty, and I know they definitely can both work for me, so I'm happy about that. Okay, so let's take a look at these lip glosses that I got. I got three different ones, and you guys, I'm more of a lip gloss type of chick. You know, they have some gorgeous, beautiful lipsticks, but I have so, oh, this packaging is pretty. Okay. <laughs> Look at that packaging. Very unique. Oh, my goodness. Let me see. How do I open this? Okay. Very unique. Okay. So, this first one, hopefully I can see it. This first one looks like, <laughs> I think that is the actual way that you spell bougie. <laughs> it's like, it looks like bourgeois or bourgeois or whatever, but I think that technically that is the real true way that you spell bougie. If I'm looking at that correctly, I don't know. But anyways, let's take a look at this one. So pretty. This is what the wand looks like. And then let me swatch this. So that is what that one looks like. Really pretty colored gloss. Yeah, I love those type of glosses if you guys haven't been able to <laughs> figure that out. I love gloss. Lip liner and gloss, that is like my go-to. Ooh, now this is really, really pretty. Look at this color. This one is called Class Act, it looks like, if I'm looking at that correctly. Class Act. Y'all know if I can't see it, if I get it wrong, I'm just gonna put it on the screen. <laughs> but let me swatch this. So this is Class Act. That's a bad swatch. But that color is really pretty. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty. Let's see if I can get a better swatch. These wands aren't my favorite because they are kind of small. Yeah, that's a better swatch very pretty and I think that we kind of got spoiled with the Fenty gloss bomb wands because they're so big and juicy and voluptuous <laughs> that all you have to do is dip in once and go over your whole mouth and you're good to go okay this one is yeah that one is really tiny I can't read that so <laughs> you guys will have to just tell me what it is or I'll see it when I'm editing 
But this one, uh, this one is pretty too. Yeah, this tiny little wand, I'm not really feeling. But that is the color on that one. So that one looks like it has the least amount of color, maybe. Very close to the first one, but just slightly different. Very slightly different. But when you hold them up together, you can see, you can see the difference. But they're very, very similar. So that was basically it for all of the new black owned brands that I wanted to try out so far. I'm constantly looking, constantly <laughs> on the hunt. Um, I have like some orders pending, I think for some palettes from some smaller black indie brands coming in. So look out for that. Um, but I also picked up a bunch of different concealers. I've been trying out different concealers like it's nobody's business. I don't know why, I'm just on a concealer kick right now. So I picked up a lot of new concealers. I think these, I, I got all of these from like Ulta. I have a couple here from Essence. I've never tried any concealers from Essence. So this is what they look like. It's actually a pretty decent sized little tube that they have here. And I picked up two shades. It says it's the Camouflage Matte Concealer. And this one is in the shade Dark Mocha. And this one is in the shade Dark Caramel. I usually like to try and pick out two shades because if I do get one that's too dark, you guys know I can always use it. Um, for my dark circles under my eyes and if I get one that's too light, you know, I can mix them together. So this is dark mocha. Okay, so yeah, see dark mocha is like the perfect shade for me to use under my eyes and cover my dark circles. And I'm hoping that dark caramel I will be able to use to highlight and brighten. And it seems actually like a nice, full, thick coverage. Yeah, that's really bright, actually. I would use very, very little of that to brighten. But just looking at the swatch, it looks like some decent coverage there. I also picked up this concealer from J-Cat. Now, I just tried their Aquasurance, like, compact foundation thing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. I used it the first time loved it i've used it a couple times since then love it even more so the aquasurance the little compact powder foundation thing i love it now this is their stay assurance concealer that's what it looks like and what color do i have sun kissed and um whenever i'm like trying to figure out if I want to buy a different concealer. I do go online and try and watch some videos because it's so hard to pick a shade. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Definitely looks like a nice brightening concealer. So can't wait to try that out. But I definitely go online, watch some videos just to kind of get a feel for how the shades are on different skin tones because Honey, those pictures on Ulta will lead you astray. They will lead you astray, okay? This one is from Revlon. This is a color stay full coverage concealer in the shade 60 Deep. And this one, I might have got this off of Amazon actually. Sometimes I'll order things off of Amazon if I want them to come really quick <laughs> with free shipping. Okay, so this one, very light, very bright but it feels a little bit thinner than the previous ones that I've swatched. Definitely thinner, and but the coverage looks nice. I don't know, it looks like it might kind of blend away though. Let me just tap it a little bit and see how it does. Okay, so yeah, it definitely didn't blend away. Okay, Revlon, so I look forward to trying that. I also got one from Ulta. This is a full coverage liquid concealer. What shade is this? Deep Warm, it looks like. That's the shade for this, Deep Warm. So let me see how this swatches. Ooh, okay, now that's thick. That is thick. <laughs> Very thick, I like the color on that though. That shade looks really nice. But yeah, that is thick, so um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see because that looks it's really thick 
And this last one here that I picked up is from Catrice. It's Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Last 12 hours. And this is in the shade Bronze Beige. Ooh, that's light. <laughs> Yeah, that one's light, but you can see that one looks a little bit thinner than the last one. Very, very light, so I think that one would definitely blend out some because it's not as thick. So it still has nice coverage, but not as thick at all, uh, at all as the, uh, what is this, the Ulta one? Ooh, yeah, that's coverage. That's coverage. <laughs> serious coverage on that one. I found though that Ulta and Sephora, they both have some pretty decent makeup products that they sell, you know, under their own brand. So I'm trying to try them out. Okay, now I did pick up a few new lip glosses from Maybelline. These are the Lifter Gloss. And I saw Stephanie from Style by Bear she had one of these lip glosses on with her lips just a popping on Instagram and I was like what is that because <laughs> it was so pretty on her so of course I went straight online and was looking for them like oh my gosh where are they I gotta try them out and you know my crazy makeup addicted self picked up six different shades to try on for you guys so I'm not gonna swatch these right now because I am going to do a try on video. So look out for that. It's gonna come up soon because I wanna try these on and start using them. So I'm probably gonna do this video pretty soon. I will go ahead and just open one up so you can see like what the applicator looks like just in case you're thinking about grabbing some. So that's what that looks like. Oh, so pretty. I want to play with them right now, but nope. I'm going to do a whole video for you guys swatching them, trying them on. Now, I also have here sitting on my desk another bronzer. I don't know what it is right now with bronzer. Is it because there's so many brands that are finally catering to us? Or because it's summertime and we wish we can get out and have fun, but we can't? I don't know what it is, but... I'm just like going bronzer crazy, but my girl, Lily and DJ, of course, they both picked up this bronzer from Kosas, Kosas, and so of course they were like, ooh, we got the Kosas bronzer, and I was like, <laughs> so, you know I had to grab it, but I got the shade Deep, look at that, you guys, oh, doesn't that look so bomb, it does, it looks so bomb. I can't wait to try it out. It looks so smooth. Oh my goodness. Let me go ahead and swatch this for y'all. Oh, it feels good too. Okay. Oh yeah. That is definitely a beautiful smooth bronzer right there. Yeah. Yep. That will look nice and natural. Not too dark, not too deep. Oh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so yeah, I got this Kosas bronzer in the shade Deep. Well, it says warm, dark bronze, but it definitely says the shade Deep. So yeah, can't wait to use that. Another item that I picked up from Ulta is this Too Faced Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer. It says Pineapple Sun, very cute little pineapple in there. But of course, this is not a bronzer for me at all. But when I swatched it, I was like, yo, I really like this. It's a very soft highlight. I just kind of, you know, like swatched both of these together, kind of blended them together just to kind of see how it would look. And it's just like a really soft looking you know highlight situation so i was like okay now if i just kind of you know place that on the high points of my cheek where my highlighter is now you can kind of see you know yeah that would be just a nice kind of like subtle hint of a glow i put a lot on my hand so i wouldn't use that much even though my highlighter today is beaming <laughs> I wouldn't use that much but yeah I really like how it looks it's just like a really soft really soft highlight so 
yeah I'm gonna be using that for a highlight now with the other BH Cosmetics um, palettes that I picked up the blush one and the highlight that I used in my pink eye look video this was part of that collection this is called the avocado toast and it's a 16 color eyeshadow palette. They also came out with another one. Uh, I don't know what the name of it is, but it has more of like the peachy, warm tone eyeshadows. Very, very pretty, but I just, I didn't want to grab that. I felt like I didn't need it. It didn't really speak to me. But this one did, it has like greens and like these warm, like, I don't know, it's not like a plummy shade, I don't know. But this is the one that spoke to me. I haven't tried it out yet, but I am kind of curious, like with some of these shimmers. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a few of these shimmers with you guys and see what's happening. Ooh. Those are pretty. That green, that silver, that's really pretty. Okay, let me swatch a few more. There's kind of like this deep teal blue in here. Very pretty. Like a teal green. Yes, okay. Those are pretty. Okay, now I'm excited to use this palette because these shimmers are really, really pretty. Yes, I'll just do a few of the mattes too. Okay, so the mattes don't look bad either. All right, yeah, okay, okay, very nice. So yeah, this is the Avocado Toast from BH Cosmetics. I also picked up this Wildberry palette from Nabla. It's not new at all. I'm kind of, I don't know, it's something about Nabla. This is one of their cutie palettes. But it's something about Nabla that kind of brings me pause whenever I'm thinking about buying one of their palettes. And I don't know if it's just the pricing or <laughs> what. But um, I did go ahead and grab this from Ulta. I thought it was really, really pretty. And these shimmers in here are kind of intriguing to me. Let me swatch a couple of these shimmers. Yeah, I like the last uh, palette that I bought from Nabla. After I swatched it, I just, I really wasn't impressed. There wasn't anything about it that just made me say, oh yeah, I have to use it. Like this, you know, shimmer here is really pretty, but these two, you know, very lackluster to me. This one is okay, but yeah, there's, it's just, just the swatches alone make me feel like it's not worth the price. <laughs> so this will probably be the last Nabla palette that I buy just because, you know, I mean, although they're very, very beautiful palettes, um, it seems like the mattes, let me swatch these mattes, but it seems like the mattes are probably really the stars of the palettes, because look at that. Look at those mattes. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it seems like the mattes are probably the stars. I mean, that's pretty, like I said, but other than that, this to me is just like a basic palette. <laughs> There's nothing really remarkable about it, at least not to warrant the prices that they charge for them. So I just have two more things here on my desk that I want to show you guys. This here is the Zoeva Opulence palette. They had like all of these Zoeva palettes on sale on Ulta. I think, don't they have these like in the boxy add-ons or something? I don't know, but they're all on sale, you guys. So if you ever want to try a Zoeva, you might want to check it out now. Is it called Zoeva? Yeah, I think so. But this one was really pretty to me. Of course, you know they got me with that pop of blue. But I thought this palette was really, really pretty. So I went ahead and picked up this one. They had like a, at least 10 of them on the site on sale. But I just grabbed this one because it has a pretty blue in it. Let me go ahead and swatch it. They feel nice. They feel pretty smooth. Okay, not bad. 
that so they're nice and smooth and silky they don't have like that blinding type of formula it's just a nice smooth silky type of formula i'm not mad at it it's pretty very pretty but yeah more subtle not so bold and blinding yeah so i can definitely tell just by swatching this palette that it's more so for someone who likes like that understated type of color not anything bold you know like they want to dibble their toes in some color but nothing major so i definitely um am curious to see how this will perform on the eyes because from the swatches it's very very muted very muted but it's still very pretty and lastly on my desk here, you guys, I have some single shadows that I purchased from Davina. I actually picked up this little empty magnetic shadow holder from Shop Miss A. I think it was a dollar. <laughs> if it was more than that, it couldn't have been more than a couple dollars. But yeah, these come in so handy when you have like a small collection that you wanna keep separate from your other, you know, singles if you don't like to keep them all together but these are my first shadows from Davina and these are I believe the butterfly collection yeah the butterfly kaleidoscope collection and this is what they look like they don't look like much but honey I can't wait to swatch these because they're supposed to be multi-chrome you know some of those beautiful multi-color um shadows i i don't want to swatch them all here just because i am doing a separate uh swatch party for these but let me just swatch a little bit of one. Oh my goodness i'm looking at this in the camera and it looks turquoise but it looks purple Oh my goodness. I want to just do my swatch party right now. I want to swatch them all, but I'm not going to do that because I am going to do a separate video just for my Davina shadows. But look at that, you guys. Purple, blue. Purple, blue. These shadows are so freaking bomb, okay? Multi chromes, dual chromes, they're all so pretty. But, anyways, which one is this? I don't even know if you can buy these separately. Like I said, these are the Butterfly Kaleidoscope Collection, but this is the name of that shadow. I can't pronounce that. It starts with M, but yeah, that is this one. So you can see that shift in there, you know? Ugh. They're so pretty. So, yeah, look out for that video too, you guys, because I'm going to swatch all of these and we can watch them shift together, okay? <laughs> so, that's it, you guys, for this little kind of like chill, kickback, beauty chat, you know, swatch and look um, video. Let me know in the comments if you guys like these type of videos where I just kind of talk about makeup <laughs> and I'm not necessarily putting it on or doing a haul or anything like that because like I said a lot of times I come in here and I just want to talk about makeup maybe I just want to pull out one palette and just swatch it and talk about it or you know a couple of foundations and just talk about them so let me know if you guys like these type of videos or not if you do thumbs it up let me know and you know we can do these a couple of times a month <laughs> so thanks you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video Bye -bye.